Good morning, folks. I want you to look at that sun coming up over Angeles City. Absolutely beautiful. Hello, good morning. Just looking at the sunshine. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to be alive. The young lady was waiting to get in that gate to dump some trash or something. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, hey, baby, I'm just filming the sunshine. Such a beautiful morning. I should have filmed her. She's a beautiful lady carrying that big bag of trash. My goodness. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Now, what is that? Over the Savannah Hotel. I don't know if this GoPro will do that any justice. That's beautiful. Shining through that sign up there. Got to make a trip to the market, folks. Out of vegetables. Might be out of everything. I don't know. Chicken wing stock might be hanging in there. But it's just uh, time to roll out this morning. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Shooting on the GoPro Hero 10 4K60. Uh, what's that? Natural color profile. Good morning. Good morning. And the lens is set on linear. I'm gonna burn this GoPro up this morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn through two batteries. That'll probably overheat, but we're gonna see. The jury's still out on this here GoPro. Well, really it's not. It's a typical GoPro. When the damn thing works, it's great. But it only works about get 60% of the time unless you're shooting videos less than like a one minute anything over one minute you risk losing footage well it's gonna get a tune a little small tune into that little trombone but wasn't no electricity going to that trombone a little electrical work about to go down morning morning I'll just keep pumping it out to the next one Honey Coes, a hangout, and Die High Ohana. D High, Die High, I don't know how to say that. Alright, it's got a little choke point here, traffic. Still uh, fixing these pipes. As you can see, we got it covered up here with dirt. Man, you got all kind of infrastructure projects going on in Angeles City. You got men working on the electrical lines. Pretty up here repairing the road, repairing the pipes. There's all kind of pandemonium going on. Hey, good morning. Good morning. As you look down into what they're working on right there. See that big network? Ah, uh, here you go putting in the new pipes right here. Good morning, good morning. There you go. Look at some brand new piping operation. Here in Angeles City. Trying not to get run over. Oh yeah, look at that, some sturdy ass looking pipes. Hmm. Well, we got some improvements going on. There's a couple more pipes. All right, shout out to these gentlemen doing all this work. Keeping our water and sewage flowing here in good old Angeles. Early morning bike riders. Ooh, that sun is bright. This lovely building here. I'd love to have seen this building back in the day when it was first built. Well, folks, I realize I'm walking into the sun doing the sunshine slash starburst effect. I tell you, the thing I do like about this little GoPro <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Fucker, laughing like the Joker. Dog looked like a little pig getting in that trash. 
can't really see what's going on but it's big enough so you know you're in frame and when you're holding any camera the closer you are to the microphone you know like this if i put you way out here the audio goes down but i can see this little screen and i know i can bring it in a little bit closer so my voice is closer to the microphone and the audio is a lot more important than the video believe it or not it's kind of crazy right that if you're shooting video the audio is more important all right these gentlemen are always working here at this bread supply place always working hard nice little pile of rubble all right so we got some more action here on these here pipes I guess because there's actually some infrastructure improvement projects going on. That in itself is awesome. Garfield's last stand. Happy hour, 6'5. Drill shack bar. How many of y'all folks used to go to the drill shack? I know I did. Steel man. Resto bar. Pass in the candy bar. Star bar and night moves. I like the night moves. Had a good time up in there the other day. funny i thought that dude was trying to sell me some sunglasses i'm like trying to step to the left to the right to avoid him he wasn't selling sunglasses he had his own sunglasses in his hand and he had a some type of meter or whatever i guess he's working with the electrical crew so i was like damn dude trying to sell sunglasses this early in the morning and there ain't nobody up here that didn't make no sense but he wasn't no sunglass salesman it was mine his own business. Just look how the sun hits that beautiful concrete exterior. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Just beautiful. On the Great Wall of China. That's like the caboose. That's what I'll call this, the caboose. I need to paint that red. Any of y'all in charge of that, just paint that area red. We'll call that the caboose. Speaking up over the top of the church here. Wow. Now I'm speaking up over the uh, Lewis Grand Hotel. I tell you, what a great time of the morning to be walking with that sun right at that level. If you're a photographer, you can get some absolutely stunning photos over these buildings. You just got to get up early enough, like me, be an early morning riser. All right, check in on the status. There you go. See that sun? Status of the Lewis Grand is still no activity. Look at that. Look at that sun peeking through there. My goodness. Come over here, take a picture. You can sell that stock footage all day long. Look at that. That sign right there. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. Ain't nobody home at the Lewis Grand, not even there was a security guard hanging out. I don't see him. Like a ghost town. Alright. Fresh look at the Great Wall. Alright, now I'm gonna give I'm gonna give some free branding advice to the people who own the Great Wall. Now you could call it the Great Wall, but I think it would be better. Because this is a linear space there's a linear hotel in Pattaya Thailand that basically made their facade as though it's a train and I think it's called the train hotel I'll have to look but they took a slim linear space like this which would otherwise be an ugly ass building right and they painted it up and they themed it like a damn freight train an old freight train 
and you could do the same thing with this building just paint that last building bright red make it look like a caboose make these things here look like i don't know one's a box car one's a passenger train or a passenger car and you paint the front building look like an engine and everybody would know this as the train <laughs> i've already branded it the great wall though that's a problem rules in session you go to this euro net right here right what you want to do go cash withdraw current account I mean, you do ten thousand but today i'm only going to do five thousand pesos that's a hundred bucks okay okay yes now watch on these euro nets what it does continue with conversion it'll cost you 109.96 okay you don't want to do that you go continue without conversion okay and that's what you do cpi call shop folks right next to the hotel euro asia great coffee uh craft beer on draft one of my favorite little hangouts there okay so back to that atm machine if you've never been to the philippines and now that we're back open for tourism sort of and you go to one of those euro nets now look they're brand new machines i've never had a problem with them use them extensively barrio beretta no problems but they're a bit confusing when they get to that screen you've never been outside the west or whatever i don't know maybe maybe atm machines over there well no they don't there ain't no fucking exchange <laughs> there's no exchange rate dumbass okay so if you've never been out of america and you ain't seen that shit most of these atms over here they don't show that screen if you go to uh any other atm machine you know you hit ten thousand pesos it's just going to give you ten thousand and that's roughly 200 us dollars so there's no option pretty easy um you know people ask me hey do i need to bring a lot of cash to the philippines no because they, they got atm machines here i mean if you're going island hopping or going out in the province you obviously want to have a pocket full of money because there ain't no atm machines way out in the country a lot of times right different subject different topic but with these euro nets if you go right it's going to cost you 109 bucks and some change um, for 5,000 pesos i go left and bing that's how much it took out of my account so just always go left or you're going to pay uh you know about 10 more bucks on 100 or 20 more bucks on uh 200 you know if you pull out the 10,000. also those euro euro nets they let you pull out i don't want to say unlimited because i don't know that for a fact but if you need six seven eight hundred bucks you can get them out of a euro net machine now a lot of these other atm machines in the past they had like a twenty thousand peso a day limit maybe some of them have lifted that i don't know but that euro net it didn't seem to have that limit but just make sure you go left going to ding well it dings my bank five bucks on the fee but you know if you got your uh, you know some banks they reject that fee whatever anyhow again another topic i'm just telling you wow well, kind of, i'm just telling you that if you use that euro net in my experience there are new machines that are reliable just pick the left option i mean fucking 20 bucks pull out 200 that's a lot of money that's a thousand peso you don't want to give that up for that machine and if, uh, if you're the owner of the machine again uh yeah i'm giving out trade secrets but you know what i'm looking out for my fellow traveler cranking up that generator abc hotel ah folks if you have one week vacation a year and you plan on coming here this is where you need to stay right here right here at the abc hotel good morning good morning top notch the rooms are just incredible because look that's what their motto is you only live once and if you only got one week you save your money yeah the rooms are expensive you're talking uh you know you get a room for 150 
150 upwards. I mean, I don't know if they've raised it. Well, yeah, they did raise the prices, or did they? Fuck, I, I don't know. A lot of the prices around here went back up to uh, regular price after being severely discounted over the past two years. But I don't care if you got to put it on your credit card. If you got one week vacation, and you're coming to Angeli City after two years of being deprived of the right to party. I want you to stay at the ABC Hotel and treat yourself. Good morning. Worry about paying it off later. We used to say every dollar we spend in Southeast Asia, I mean, that's equivalent to, what, 100 bucks in America? So don't be cheap about it. Spend the money. Put it on your credit card. ABC Hotel is like a, a, a totally different, it's an experience. It's not just a hotel room. Good, good morning, morning, sir. How are you, brother? Good. All right, good. It's, it's not a hotel room, it's an experience. Big difference. I mean, say getting a cheap room is like flying Southwest Airlines. You get a room at the ABC, it's like you're on Emirates with one of those little suites. Use different, right? All about the experience. You're like, oh, well, Marcos, that's expensive, man. It's expensive, 150, 200, 250 a night. Yeah, but chances are your ass is gonna die. You still got like $3,500 in the bank. Who's gonna get that money? Why don't you spend it on yourself when you're alive? Something like that. You know, I'm not telling you to go out and buy a new Ferrari or a Porsche. That don't make a whole lot of sense. But coming to Angeles City and staying at the ABC Hotel makes a whole lot of sense to me. All right, let me slow my roll here. This is what they used to call Freelance Park. You know, and then they like, upgraded it renovated it you just have shops through here and now the only remnants are well, i guess these things but you do have a little small produce market here edit that out edit that out edit that out so much editing you have to do when you're filming here folks just <laughs> back with background stuff that for example, a dude taking a piss in the field and playing view, or a dude pissing on the wall. Anyhow. Right, Margarita Station. Anybody behind the chicken wire? Nope. Yeah, stuff. Good morning, good morning. Don't look like they're open yet. Oh yeah, I think they opened at 8. Last time I came through. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, buddy. I don't have any coins, my friends. Hello, good morning. You know what, folks, speaking of coins, they just came out, I don't know, but a couple months ago, whatever it was, I just got my hands on one. There is a new 20 peso coin. It's beautiful. I meant to put it on video, but I think I spent it already. I think they're coming out with a new five peso coin. Don't quote me on that, but but there is a new 20 peso coin. So I think I'm gonna go convert a few thousand pesos into 20 peso coins. something interesting and you've never filmed or ran a YouTube channel or anything like that just go get your camera out and start walking down the street and start talking to it those sweet babies here hello good morning world famous walking street now, there was a few players out at Phillies and there were 
maybe three players at Envy enjoying their breakfast and their early morning coffee. Atlantis, again, folks, is open. Me and my buddy Cowboy went in there and hung out. Man, it's just so glad. It's so good to see Atlantis open again. It's one of the big hangouts for me and my crew. Yeah, if I had to give you a count, at one point I counted 60 girls in there. No, I did have a few, so give or, t give or take 10, I'd say at least 50 chicks up in there. 50 beautiful ladies. La Bamba. That's Big Money Benny's favorite song, La Bamba. Shout out to you, buddy. I hope you're doing well over there in uh, Bali. Folks, y'all didn't know it, Big Money Benny's over in Bali. All right, no players up here on the perch. And maybe that's because they're still closed. All right, so let me stop, give you another look around. Yeah, I did a very similar video last week. But y'all know what? A big percentage of viewers who are first time viewers versus subscribers and returning viewers. So sometimes when you're doing a video, things are repetitive because that's how you bring in new subscribers that have never seen one of your videos before now that's angel witch all right yeah, so anyhow that's why sometimes you do the same thing over and over and then you have people who that's what you want to see you're looking for a daily or weekly update on what's going on because you're planning your trip or you're missing your family or your house Man, they took all the wood out. They had a bunch of wood right there for those wood-fired pizza ovens. Now the wood is gone. That's breaking news. Question is, what happened to it? Did they use it? Making too many pizzas? Did they move it indoors? Where is all that firewood for the wood-fired pizza ovens? Now, I came by this place the other night and it was closed. So is it only open on the weekends? I don't know. Pink Flamingo hiring dancers. What they need to do is turn that into a big like marquee sign right there. Baccarat. Always have a good time in there. All right, anybody want to rent a hotel? Make a million dollars here in Angeles City. There's your hotel for rent right there. Good morning. It's a good morning for me, at least. It is a good morning for me. There's the gold bar. I was never a high so fan. I was never in the high society. Matter of fact, really didn't like the place. Not, no thank you, my friend. No thank you, buddy. That's a nice looking meat cleaver though. Probably could use that for my kitchen. All right, folks, took a little break, talked to my buddy. Haven't seen him in a while. Shout out to you, my friend. And we're quickly closing in on the end of Walking Street. A lot of folks over here at Paradise enjoying some breakfast and shooting some pool. And actually, it looks like some players who are still partying from the night before, because it is Saturday. So we got some Friday night revelers who still haven't went down. Now look, when I say that, I'm not saying that they partied all night because there's a lot of call centers over on Clark, right? So those guys, they work all kind of hours because say they're servicing the US. Obviously they have to work US hours and it's on the other side of the world. So a lot of those, I don't want to say a lot, but I've ran into a lot of people who come straight from the call center and they go party. So anyhow, it's the uh, wee hours of the morning and they're out partying. So it looks like they've been partying all night, but really they just got off work at the call center at like zero four, somewhere in there. Hello, good morning, good morning. Folks, can you meet a, a nice lady here in Angeles City? 
Yes, you can, even though I don't recommend it. I recommend finding you a girl. Well, it depends on what you want, what you're looking for. I like the country girls from way out in the province. Comes with a unique set of challenges. But if you get a girl here in Angeles City, you really gotta be careful and check the girl out. Because she's around this environment. I'm not saying she's partaking to this environment, involved. The walking street environment, but it is here. And then you get a check out in uh, the province and ain't never left Cebu. She don't even know what Walker Street is. She ain't never heard of that shit. She ain't never been to a bar. Put her shops. There you go. 583 Immigration and Travel Consultancy. If you need anything done, need your visa renewed, go in there and see those folks. A lot of us use their service. They got one over in Barrio Bredo too. Almost across from... Uh, Angel's Bakery. It's a little tiny place. And in my experience, the girl isn't always in there. I think it's a one-man show. But, same folks, and they're equally, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, I trust them. A lot of my buddies trust them and use them, so check them out. Their fee is nominal, and you don't have to go to immigration and stand in line and do the musical chairs. It's worth whatever they charge you i think i'm a two-month extension their fee is only like 600 pesos it's like 12 bucks 12 bucks let them handle it here over marquee mall unless they've changed it you drop your stuff off in the morning you got to come back in the afternoon to pick up your your passport that's a full fucking day i mean if you want to use it as a mall day Okay. Barreto, you just, or Elongapo, you just go in that office, you're done in 20 minutes. I swore I'd never give that secret out, but Elongapo Immigration Office is the best kept secret. I mean, 20 minutes tops, and you're in and out of there. Never more than two or three people in there. Beautiful Score Burris Hotel. Can't wait until that bikini contest returns. And also, what she say? She said, "What was the rule about the six-month extension?" I think in your first year, I might be wrong, but some of y'all are experts, and you're gonna put the information in the comments. So let me just crack open the forum. Okay, in your first year. Of being here you can get one six-month extension okay so say you come in you got your visa on arrival but you're gonna stay here for a while three or four months don't fuck around just get your six-month extension they can help you out but historically Angeles was what I was told Angeles immigration and uh, long pole immigration could not give you the six months you had to go to Manila to get it. But if you check with some of these services, they can get it for you, but only your first year. Which is a really good deal because if you're gonna go island hopping and you're gonna be messing around and spending several months, you don't wanna be hunting down an immigration office. You know, when you're when you're island hopping. Come here. You know, spend a week or two, get your bearing, and then see if you can get that six-month extension. You'd be good to go. All right, so let's see what's shaking over here at uh, Tequila Reef. It's a little early, but maybe they're open for breakfast now. Any players on the perch? Nope, but it looks like they're washing the windows, getting everything ready. Now, this is Rob's Gastro Pub. This may be where I heard the live music the other night. And I was trying to be a good boy. So instead of coming over here and checking it out, because I'm a fiend for live music. So if I'd come over here, I would not have went home. Uh, and then you got the poker room over there for all y'all poker players. It 
So that's something I gotta check out. I gotta check out Rob's that live music. Maybe I'll come out tonight. It's a Saturday night. Hey, good morning, brother. How are you? Good morning. Uh, no, thank you, sir. Just doing a little exercise this morning. All right, folks. Tequila Reef. If you've never been to Angeles City before, that's where you want to eat right there. Sit out on that outdoor patio and enjoy the sights. Oh my goodness, there's the Tahoe man. Good morning, good morning. Um, one of my friends was talking yesterday about how I think we watch the videos and they know Maria Mercedes, she loves the Tahoe every morning. Hey. Well, she does. Hey. To my buddy Cowboy, said he's coming over here to Tequila Reef to get a cup of coffee. Out on the patio, I believe I'll join him. Chilling like a villain. Are you shy? Folks, I'm just sitting here chilling like a villain with my girl Joyce. Cheers, baby. It's a guy. It's a guy thai. It's a boo manila batangas and hmm. bending out. Folks, beautiful day here in Angeles City. Hanging with my buddy Cowboy. Just sitting there having a few drinks with friends. It's a Saturday afternoon. And Joyce is trying to talk me into taking her to Jollibee. Baby, don't you think Wendy's is better than Jollibee? What's your favorite? My mistake. Jollibee? Okay, but when you go to Jollibee, do you get chicken and spaghetti or chicken and rice? Which one? Something. You want both? With a side of french fries? All right, we, I told her I'd take her to Jollibee, but... I tell you, hey, if we go to Jollibee, you got to be on my video and say hello to all my subscribers out there. Okay? Big shout out to my buddy Duke, man. Thanks for the care package, my brother. Man, you are too kind to us. Folks, chilling. Chilling with my girl, Joyce. And my girl... Joan. Right, Joan? Yes. Joan. So, Joan and Joyce. It's like JJ. JJ Mark. All right, how's the uh, how's the mango shake? Oh, Is it good? Yummy. All right, folks, show them right here, baby. Show them the mango shake. Folks. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mango shakes at Tequila Reef on time. Absolutely delicious. I'm drinking a Corona with a lime. You sure you don't want a mango shake, baby? Big apple. Apple. You want to stand big apple? And I'm, I'm just thinking about ordering some food, but it's such a beautiful day sitting here on the balcony with these beautiful ladies and just enjoying life. My buddy Cowboy, he just left. We've been discussing buying an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I told him, go get it, man. Go pull the trigger. The only reason I didn't get that Pro Max is because I need the one terabyte version. Uh, they had one over there. I went home to think about it. I came back, they were out of the one terabyte. So, uh, filming on the GoPro, picked up a new GoPro Hero 10. Just testing this thing out. It's typical GoPro. But what's cool is we can see ourselves in that little window right there. So we know we're in frame. Now we're having a debate. Jollibee versus Wendy's, right? Now these ladies love Jollibee. But all of my ladies that I've introduced to Wendy's, they convert it over to Wendy's. They say Wendy's has better speed. Getty. Wendy's has better hamburgers. They got the macaroni salad. So I gotta take these ladies to Wendy's. Get them some Wendy's and I think I think you're gonna like Wendy's better than Jolly Bean. I think so. Okay, but do, do you like chicken and rice or chicken and spaghetti? Which one? Rice or spaghetti? Or both? Spaghetti both. You like both? Yeah. Okay. I'm cool now. Wait, well, what'd you yeah. eat? What you what you eat earlier? What you have today? Jollibee, I've been there. You've already been to Jollibee yeah. today. Oh my goodness! Why you didn't bring her some Jollibee? I just yeah. her down. Oh, you brought her some? Yeah. So you got Jollibee waiting over there? Yeah. Ah, okay. What about me? You bring me a hamburger? Yeah. Voila! Nothing. <laughs> Nothing for the foreign guy. Voila! <laughs> I think you were gonna buy me one, but you didn't know what I wanted. You didn't, you didn't know if I wanted it's mustard, hard, ketchup. Oh, I gotta rate my driver here. I 
send some food and we'll get that dude a tip. How much tip is that? Alright, give a tip. Alright, big shout out to Fatima. She's holding down the fort with the children over there. And they wanted some food, so I just fired up Graham. Shout out to the Grab driver, send some Wendy's over there. Oh, it's too easy here in Angeles City. Just get on the Grab app, send some food. You end up spending more, but if you're down in the province, ain't no Grab, ain't no signal. <laughs> so how are you gonna get some good food delivered? Ain't no Grab down in the province, you know what I mean? You just get chicken and rice or a burger junction. That's it, right? All right, folks, if I can now, got the Wendy's over there. Yes, She's happy. Yeah, that's my wife right there. Bonito. That's my son, that's my daughter, that's my wife. Oh, yeah. Look, look at yesterday's video. I'm such a good foreign guy. Yesterday, I bought Fatima and my wife number two. She's wife number two. A big bag of chicharrones and a can of sardines. A big can of sardines. I like love like also something. I like that. See, I have many follow on my blog of my friend. But, but what you want, TikTok? TikTok like or YouTube? YouTube. I don't what? like TikTok. I don't know how to TikTok. I don't know anything about TikTok. There's my wife right there. Sexy, huh? Maganda. Maganda, Maganda, Maganda. Well, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you what I bought. I bought a big, a big bag of. Uh, I bought a big can of sardines, ladies. Hold on, it's a little slow. A little slow. Huh? Right there, see, I went to the sorry store. Yummy if you eat that sometimes. Yeah. Not if every day. That's a big can. That's not a small and a big can of yes, a big bag of uh, chicharrones, pork yeah. rinds. They're more like original pork rinds. or just original. That's my daughter right there. Yeah. Right, right. That's my barbecue grill. Every night, baby, I barbecue. Make delicious food right there, yeah. Every night I make the good food. Oh, that's me going. I went to Walker Street last night. Last night I didn't barbecue. But that's my channel right there, ladies. You subscribe to my channel. Whatever stay room. Yeah. Can I see it? Click it. How much money you got there, Don? How much you got there? Four pesos. You got five pesos? You're asking, you're asking me five pesos. Well, give, her, give her five but, uh, pesos. I don't have a lot. Voila. There, my bag is there. Oh. Give her! I don't, got, I don't got five pesos. All I got is like, a, I got a thousand. Points. What you gonna buy? Get my bag. Cigarettes. Oh, cigarettes, cigarettes baby. You smoke? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Now can I can I show your tattoo right here? Can I show everybody your ink? It's okay, folks. Look at this ink on this girl right here. My goodness, how much was this tattoo right here? Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty pesos. Two fifty. That's a five dollar tattoo right there. Let's see the one over here. Hold on. Two fifty. Same same. Five dollars for that tattoo. That's pretty good. Uh, let me ask you this: Did it hurt when you got the tattoo? Did it hurt? What? How do you say it hurt? Uh, huh? I said masakit, el rainaco. And then what about this one right here on the uh, day day? Mining. That was that was two fifty two. How much was that? Yeah. Yeah. Three. Oh, that one was free. And how many more you got? Oh, got a rose here. Folks, this girl got some beautiful ink on her. Wow. All right, how old are you, baby? 32? How old are you? Me? No, the girl over here. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> how old are you? 21. Are you single? Yes. Okay. Moving right over here to this young lady. Let's see some ink, girl. What you got right here? Mango shake. Ah, uh, that's... Got, what's that say? Mango shake? Yes. <laughs> oh, no, no. There's a mango shake right there. <laughs> All right, what's this no, one say? What's that name. say? That's, that's your name? No, yeah. All right, how much were, were these tattoos? One thousand. For this? Yes. Eight. Wait, wait a minute. You paid a thousand, and she paid. She got hers for free. Because 
don't know because it's real tattoo artist tattoo. Oh, maybe, maybe her boyfriend was a tattoo guy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. All right, what else you got? Bullshit. Bullshit. A little apple there. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And then we got a rose over here. Yeah, it's for motorbike. Okay. All right, so. Uh, that's it. That's all you got? Yeah. The beautiful uh, ink on these two young ladies here. And Dawn, how old are you, baby? 30? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Baby, you look you look like you're 19. No. You're 30 years old. Going 29 going 30. So she's 29 going 30. And what yeah. month's your birthday? August. You gotta have a big birthday party for this lady. She's gonna be 30 years old in August. Big red horse. <laughs> you like red horse? Alright, we'll drink some red horse, baby. No problem. No but problem at I all. Don't, I don't drink early. I like drink about 5 p.m. like that. About 5 p.m.? Yeah. If like this, I don't want. See, I, I drink when I first wake yeah. up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll bring you some red horse. Uh oh, now what happened, Dawn? You, you had to go get some cigarettes? Okay, tell tell everybody how much, uh, how much are the cigarettes here in the Philippines? How much is that pack of Marlboro? 10, 10 pesos. What, 10 pesos per stick? One stick. For one stick is 10 pesos so that's 20 20 cents us per cigarette uh here in the philippines for the marlboros now are those real marlboros or are they fake marlboros the copy or real real they're real i don't know anything about cigarettes because i don't smoke i smoke i smoke, I smoke cigars smoke. You, don't smoke. you don't smoke i smoke cigars every night but you know a little bit different than cigarettes Tobacco. Yeah, it's tobacco. Wow. So my mother tobacco is good. My goodness, Maganda, Maganda, Maganda. <laughs> Folks, I'm sitting here with two of the most beautiful ladies in the Angel East City. But every time I look forward, there's there's more ladies walking by. What can yeah. I do? Wow. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? So, so ladies, let me let me ask you let me ask you this question, dude. Since they opened the tourists on, on the on the tent, do you see a lot more tourists here now or no? Not really. Not really? What, what about you, Dawn? You see more tourists here? A little bit? Too, too much? A little bit, a bit, not too much. Not too much? Yeah, it'll take a little while. It'll take a little while for things to get back to normal here in Ockley City. That's your buddy? Him? I don't know. Uh, Show him to the camera. Maybe somebody. No! Uh, maybe he's no, a subscriber, no, baby. He's so because he's always on the internet. He's always on the internet. I just want to get close to you. Oh, he's got some chill music going on here on the yeah, patio. You always with hear? It's good music, huh? But I want to I hear some Banyo Queen. Andrew E. <laughs> I like Andrew E. Yeah, me too. I like Andrew E. What about, uh, you like to go to Midnight Rodeo? Yeah. You like to dance? Mm. You know how to two-step? Uh, baby, I'm a, I'm a dance instructor. I can teach you how to yeah. dance. <laughs> I've taught thousands of ladies how to drink, or not how to drink, <laughs> how to dance over the years. chill music here on the patio folks i mean i i wouldn't mind if they stepped it up a bit but it is the afternoon going to sleep now you. sleepy na good na hey you taking a nap <laughs> it's bored. She's, she's sleepy but you know what that's the folks that's the filipina's favorite thing to do is sleep <laughs> finish, eat. finish eating and sleep finish eating and then go sleep <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's what they want. That's the number one pastime. Wake up, it's not. Of a Filipino. And a little bit sitting down. Yeah. And going to take a nap. Go to and take another nap. <laughs> but look, she, she's not being funny. I mean, Filipinas love to sleep. Yeah. Really. They love to sleep in the middle of the day, in the <laughs> afternoon. It don't matter. You know what I mean? If you give them five minutes to themselves, they're going to be sleeping somewhere. Just like this girl right here. She was trying to sleep right here. She went, she got a pack of cigarettes, 
Started smoking a cigarette and then next thing you know she's sleeping. Folks, y'all see the stress I'm under here. I'm under all this stress here at Edge Lee City. I don't know how much longer I can take it. I really don't, my friends. Hey everybody, I know you wish you could be here. I'll see you guys over here soon, but I'm representing you while you're while you're away. Shout out to all the truckers up there in Ottawa, up in Canada, freedom fighters that are holding the line being arrested right now bank accounts being seized vehicles being seized by the fucking gestapo and uh trudeau i don't even know what to call that dude uh, unbelievable what's going on in canada but shout out to all my truckers up there holding the line in the cold fighting for everybody's freedom around the world uh, you're in my thoughts every moment my friends if you got to go to jail you got to go to jail <laughs> How many times did Dr. Martin Luther King go to jail before he won that war? Okay, hold the line. I feel sleepy. <laughs> Baby, you, you understand? I'm, I'm talking international world politics here. Sleeping. And after that big long. I'm gonna take a nap here. You're gonna take a nap right here? <laughs> yeah, you could. You could lay up here and take a big nap. It's no problem. <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> Right, folks what a beautiful saturday afternoon big shout out to fighting my watching the kids over there thank you very much baby for watching the kids you know i've been here hanging out with my buddy cowboy wait a minute where's cowboy oh yeah oh yeah he left he went to the sm so i was hanging out with my buddy cowboy uh thanks for letting me hang out with the cowboy and i did send you some food i am a good foreign dude Yesterday I did buy you a, uh, a big can of sardines. Babush. Honey, listen. Uh, it, uh, okay, listen. If, Adios. If I was your boyfriend, right? Yeah. And I, I came home with a big can of sardines. Not the small one, the big can. Yeah, I make it. Would you be happy? <laughs> Every be, day? Yeah. No way. I only one. Uh, no, I eat sardines. Once you know it. About a chicharrones. I, I bought yeah, a big yeah, bag I of chicharrones. Like you can eat that every day. Yeah, I like it. So say we had a little, say we had a little argument, right? Yeah. And you were mad at me. You were angry to me. Oh. But I showed up with a big can of sardines. Would you forgive me? Maybe. Maybe yeah. Maybe yes. Okay. All right. I got one more. What if I showed up with three tilapia? Hey, that's my fucking favorite. That's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So with this one here. You can't show up with no sardines or no yeah, pork tilapia rinds. Yeah, maybe. Tilapia. But three, three tilapia. With oh. chili. Oh, with some chili? Yes. There you go, folks. Then put the soy sauce. Ah, I'm not mad. Ooh, a little soy sauce. A little tuyo on the tuyo. Tuyo. <laughs> <laughs> folks, in, a, in America, you'd have to go out and buy your wife a brand new car <laughs> if she caught you sleeping with her cousin, right? Oh. Here. Hey, if you if you caught me sleeping with your cousin, I bring you three tilapia. I'm forgiven. No. No. You sleeping with me, cousin? That's maybe four tilapia. Okay, my final offer. I'll bring you five tilapia, and then it's just forgiven. Then you cook it. <laughs> <laughs> Adobo. Adobo. I, I'm not gonna eat it. The pork or uh, chicken? Chicken. All right. So her favorite is chicken adobo. What you I go with? I don't like really. I like fish. You like fish? Yeah, not really. Maybe I eat pork maybe one month, three times like that. So not too much pork. You're a fish, fish lady. Yeah, fish. Okay, I like adobo, but uh, I like pork adobo. I don't, yeah, I don't like the bones like in there. Chicken. Because the chicken adobo, folks, they cook that with bones. So it's like trying to eat beef stew yes. with bones in there. I go with a the pork. There's no bones in the in the pork adobo. I like, I like meat bones. I don't like really. Just the I meat. Like, yeah. I said the same with my wife because I said, look, why you always have to have the bones? And she said, <laughs> she said, if you don't have the bones, it's boring. Yeah, boring. The the bones are interesting, yes. exciting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can nibble on the yes. bones. Yeah. You know I what like I mean? Bones. And don't be filming down here because the girls will get angry down here. I said, they can't get angry at the king. Everybody loves me. How can you get angry at me? Hey, buddy, how you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. All right. Go ahead. I'm not filming them, baby. I'm filming you. Oh. <laughs> I don't worry about it.
about the Kuya. Just go, just go. It's okay. Trust me, the Kuya is not gonna see it. He's not a subscriber. And maybe he is. <laughs> he might be. <laughs> so that little that little mini stop is closed. I said, baby, where are we going? She said 7-Eleven. I forgot all about the fact that here at the uh what's this place called? One Euphoria, right? One Euphoria, they got a little 7-Eleven down here. And I believe that, yeah, the Clouds Bar is open. Have you been up to the Clouds Bar? Mm. No? We gotta go up to the Clouds Bar. But not right now. We're just coming down here. We're gonna redneck style it. Brown bag it. Pick up some beer. Oh, some like red horse. I don't care. I'm not blogging over there. I'm blogging right here. Okay? Ain't nobody gonna tell me not to film my own face. That ain't never gonna happen. Okay, off to the left side are some ladies. I got it. They don't want to be filmed. That's not my fucking problem. I'm filming my motherfucking face. That's it. All right, so here you go right here. This is one euphoria. Now check out the previous video I did of a tour of the place. I'll put that down in the description. And here's a 7-Eleven. Now I don't know if this dug out here. Hey, buddy. I don't know if that's open or not. But 7-Eleven is open. Come in here, pick up some drinks. All right, folks, got me a big Heineken. Got my friend down here, something to drink. And this lady didn't want something, nothing to drink, but I think she got some hairspray. I'm not even sure what she got. Baby, what's in that pink thing that you bought? <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Hello, how are you darling? All right, what we got here? Got the sorry, sorry star. All right, how are you? The bar's open? Oh, okay. All right, so that bar back up in there is open. Go in there, have a drink. Ah, she's putting that in her purse. That's, oh, you bought the hairspray. What's the pink, girl? <laughs> and looks like somebody's taking a nap right there. Off to the left side, the port side, is a uh, betting station. Sorry, sorry, store. And there's a poker room over there. If anybody's interested in playing some poker, trying your luck. Trying your luck at a deck of cards. One time I looked at a unit in here, and the reason I did, because it had a pole in there. I was going to put Fatima and Helen up on that pole, but it was just too small. Again, that mini stop is close. <laughs> All right, come back up here and hang out a bit, and I got to head out to the next destination location. But I think this young lady is going to do some big jokey for us. Here's my little Andrew E. Oh, she's chilling. This is a good bit jokey. My goodness. You may proceed, darling. This is the Reefer Madness or the Suave's Madness? Reefer Madness. Though. Reefer Madness. My yeah. goodness. <laughs> Folks, that's the Reefer's Madness. And I'm sitting here with wife number eight. <laughs> hey, baby, what you doing? My goodness, my goodness. You're so pretty, baby. I've known this girl for years, my friend. But I gotta, I gotta tell her she's wife number eight. I got an extra side of sour cream, jalapenos. Mm, my God. My goodness, what can I do? A little spice on that one, huh, baby? Baby, how much you love the Marquitos? How much you love the King, baby? You love the King? Rolling out 1% battery. It's time. I think I'm rolling up the night moves. 
working on the night moves. It's kicking it, my friends. Thanks for joining me on today's long ass, no purpose video. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out. Baby, are you gonna buy me something? The question Heels. is, what you gonna buy from me? Heels. Heels? Yes. How about you buy me a. Get the Carlo Rossi, but they don't got the California red. Hmm, what can I do? Look at this beautiful girl right here. My goodness, baby. Why are you hiding your face? You want a can of sardines? Or you want some tuna? I'm going to treat you to special, special snack. After three years, folks, there's a reunion. A reunion. And we're going to celebrate by ordering some food. Baby, what you want to eat? What you want to eat for this reunion dinner? Mong in a song? <laughs> Babe, you had Mong in a song last night. Okay, you like Mong in a song? Yeah, okay. All right, baby, hit the 38 grand. Folks, thank y'all very much. You're always too kind to us. Thanks to all my 38,000 friends here. Thank y'all very much, my goodness. <laughs> yeah.